This is for anybody that's going through grief or you're living with grief. I don't think we talk enough about grief and how it affects us. Nobody's really talking about the long-term effects of grief. It never leaves you. It changes over time. My mom died when I was 13. She went to prison when I was six and she got out when I was 12 and she died when I was 13. So that's a scar that is never going to heal and I've done a lot of healing work, therapy, I've taken ayahuasca, I've meditated, I've trained in Reiki, angelic healing, working with the ancestors, it never leaves. It really alters your brain, it alters your nervous system. It alters how you live life and how you move. And it's a struggle sometimes. And I'm gonna tell on myself because I think that it's the best way to illustrate my point and how I've learned to live with my grief. When grief hits you, you aren't prepared for it and you're not prepared for how you end up dealing with it. For some people, they isolate. For some people, they use drugs. For some people, they hide in their work. For some people, they become much more promiscuous. For some people, they become much more social and they're partying. But it's a part of you that's trying to find a way to cope with the loss. But also, when you lose your mom, I can't really speak for anybody else. I lost my mom and I lost my grandmother. Both were my mothers. I was closer excuse me, to my grandmother than I was my mother. You feel untethered. You feel like you're in the pl on the planet, in your life, alone with nobody. Like it really messes with you psychologically for a while until you can come to terms with it. And the way that I dealt with it is I went to therapy. I meditated a lot, but what I realized was I was using my spirituality as a way to not feel. And the thing about grief is you just have to feel it. Like there is no way around it. And I learned that in therapy. And I learned from just sitting with myself and the tools that I learned from therapy and spiritual tools that grief changes over time. There's many facets to it. And it's never ending. It's never ending. And I think, you know, we have to give ourselves um, grace and compassion. Because I know for me, I would beat myself up a lot because I felt like, you know, I should be able to handle this. I shouldn't feel like this. Why am I still feeling with like this? Why am I still dealing with this grief? And that's not the thing to do. The thing to do is to just be okay with where you are in your process and understanding and understanding with your grief and how you're dealing with it in your life. And then what you also want to do is invite yourself in a way that works for you to find healthy coping mechanisms without blaming yourself, judging yourself, shaming yourself, beating yourself up. It's okay. If you grab a drink every now and again to escape the pain, it's okay. The thing you want to do is just be aware of what am I doing to cope with my grief? And does this empower me? Is it a healthy coping mechanism? If not, let's swap it out for something that's more healthy. And sometimes you may not know. And you may only know if you go to therapy, work with someone who does healing work that can help you through your grief, that has supported their clients through their grief. But this is the thing too, and I wanna be completely honest with you and I'm not gonna lie to you. There is no answer. There are only tools that help you learn how to live with that emptiness. I've sat and prayed and sat with spirits, sat with my guides, sat with my angels, and I feel amazing. And then there's days where my grief hits me and I get to the gym in the morning and I just sit there for like maybe 20 or 30 minutes because I'm overwhelmed with emotion and I'm lost in thought. I'm thinking about something from the past. I'm thinking about something between me and my mom. I'm thinking about a traumatic experience that happened and I'm back in that place. And I've learned that that's just how my trauma shows up. That's how my grief shows up. And I'm okay with that. I don't try to push it away, stuff it down, not feel it. Sometimes I can be at the mall. Sometimes I could just be hanging out and then my grief will hit me like that. I might see something. 
I might see somebody with their mom or I might see a billboard or hear a song or something takes me back. And in that moment, what I've learned to do is just give myself room to grieve in that moment and to be a mess, to feel lonely, to feel like I don't have anybody. I just let myself feel it. And then I use my tools to support myself and comfort myself. Sometimes there's nothing that I can do and none of my tools work and that's okay too. I just go take a nap, I go home. I try my best to self-soothe and nurture myself. But I let myself feel it. But I also recognize and I've learned over time from trying to get rid of it that it's a part of me. And I use my grief as best as I can to help me to live, to be the best version of myself that I can, to help me appreciate life and appreciate the time that I did have with my mother. And sometimes that helps, sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes nothing helps and sometimes it does. And I've learned to just accept that it is what it is. You may have to learn to accept that it is what it is. And you may have to learn to accept that, that you may need tools to help you and that the tools are not gonna always work depending on what's going on with you that day, in that moment. But if you can develop a system of support that works for you, it'll help you. And I know that there's a lot of people out there because I see what's going on in the world that you don't have any friends. You may not have an emotional support system and that's okay, I'm in the same boat. I'm not close to my family. I don't know who my dad is. I have brothers that I do not know, that I never met. My grandmother's gone, my mom is gone. The only two people in the world that made me feel like somebody, made me feel loved, supported, that I completely trusted are gone. But I still have my sense of self. I still have my spirituality, my connection to spirit, to God, my ancestors. And it helps, it does help. Doesn't take it all away, but it helps. It gives me perspective. I still have purpose. I still find things that give me meaning in my life because I lost something that had great meaning for me. And it took me a while to figure out how to find meaning in my life. It took me a while, I'm not gonna lie to you. I literally took like a year off and I wasn't doing videos. I wasn't doing spiritual healing work. I was just traveling. I was just spending my savings. I went to Paris. I went to London. Um, I was going to San Diego a lot. I was going out of town. I was going to Scottsdale, Arizona and just trying to go to places where I could just escape and be someplace where nobody knew me, where I could just kind of exist. And eventually I came back to myself. And when I started coming back to myself, you know, I started going to therapy. Luckily I had a really good friend that said to me from love that they felt like I needed some support with my grieving. And the only reason why I listened to them is because they had just lost their dad and I knew that they were going through some serious grief. So I started going to therapy and at first it wasn't easy, but I stuck with it and I kept showing up. And over time, I developed a system of tools. I work out, I meditate, I try to eat right. I try to focus on positive, inspiring, empowering information that I can listen to, things that I can read. And I just have things set up in my life that support me because I know at some point the grief may pop up and I'm okay with it. And so the healing part of all of this for me, and I just wanna offer this to you is I realize that it's not about trying to get rid of the grief, not feeling it. It's learning to exist with it. How can I still live my life knowing that I have this scar, knowing that I have this pain? And I've learned how to live with it and I'm okay with it. And I've learned to appreciate it. And I glean lessons from it all the time and that's what I wanna offer you. Everybody's gonna deal with grief in their own different way, but I think that something that we're learning how to do is how do we live with the grief and how do we cope with it in healthy ways? And that's something that you can, that's something that you have to figure out on your own. I can't tell you, I can just share with you what works for me and then you can try it, but it never goes away. 
but you will learn to live with it, okay?